Thank you very much, everybody. Um, I'm going to start by thanking my team, if, if you'll forgive me. They have worked harder than I have. I'm just the raw material. They produced the result. So thank you very much. You all know who you are, those people who were helping me with social media, with funding, for emailing the whole lot. Thank you. A sincere thank you. I'd of course also like to thank all of you who voted for me and the others who are out there who can't be here today who voted for me. Thank you. I'd also like to thank those of you who didn't vote for me because you were probably trying to do me a favour. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank the organisers of the events, who are all sitting on my right here. Um, and in particular, I'd like to thank Steve Crowther as interim leader. He's held the fort. It's a, a, it was a thankless task, um, but thank you. Thank you, Steve. And I'd like to thank my fellow candidates in this. Um, there has been a little bit of banter on social media, as uh, I'm sure some of you are aware. Some of you might be responsible for it, where I am. But the candidates have been a pleasure to work with, and I hope very much that we can continue to work together to make this party what it needs to be going forward. Today is not only a crucial day for our party, it is a critical day for our country. We've already heard today from a number of speakers of the importance of holding the government to task for the delivery on that mandate that they were given on the 23rd of June last year, which so far they have failed to deliver anything on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brexit is our core task. However, it is not the end of the line. When we leave the European Union, that is not the end of the story. We're leaving the European Union because we as a nation want to have that, that right of self-determination. We want to be responsible for our own destiny, not have it decided in a foreign capital. We want to do that so that we can be a prosperous nation, a globally outward-looking trading nation, a secure nation, a nation that can protect its own way of life, its own culture and its own environment in every respect. We want to be a, a confident and optimistic nation and we want to be a nation that is proud to be called British. Whilst Brexit is our core task, that greater goal, which is ongoing beyond the time that we leave the European Union, well, that is our core purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I would like to uh, end by quoting the motto of the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst, which is serve to lead. I do not see myself now as being simply your leader, I see myself as serving this party. You are the party, not me. And this, this party needs to serve its country. There is no greater calling than that except the, uh, the bishop earlier might disagree with me. Um, okay, there's one greater calling than that. And I would call on all of you, whether you voted for me or not, and even if you didn't, whether it was a favour or not, I would call on you all, please, to rally around the party, to be united, because without being united, we cannot lead. We cannot lead the nation and we cannot hold the government to account and we cannot achieve our core purpose at all. And part of that whole story is reorganising or in, in increasing the efficiency and the effectiveness of our party 
in British politics. So I see my three, three core tasks as being to facilitate the unification of this party, to help it build a platform so that we can, it can conduct its third task, which is to project firmly and decisively into British politics for the good of the nation. Tomorrow I, I shall be given the opportunity to make a more lengthy speech. I, of course, shall do so. <laughs> so sick and tired of my voice by the end of this. But uh, not an hour and a half now. No, no, no. You're all right, you're all right. Um, so I'm going to leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, thank you very much to everybody who's been involved in this contest, in this campaign, and in this event, and for all of the, you who have voted. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow.